एवरीवन आई एम संजोगिता वेलकम टू अनदर क्लास इन केमिस्ट्री टुडेज क्लास इज ऑल अबाउट केमिकल कॉम्बिनेशंस एंड द लॉज दैट गवर्न इट शैल वी बिगिन देन नाउ इट इज इंपॉर्टेंट फॉर अस टू हैव अ डीपर अंडरस्टैंडिंग ऑफ हाउ केमिकल कॉम्बिनेशंस वर्क एंड द लॉज दैट गवर्न द केमिकल कॉम्बिनेशंस we will first learn those laws one after another that will lead us to understand the quantities of reacting substances and the products and also know if multiple products can be obtained due to a chemical change so ready to learn now law of conservation of mass states that In a chemical change the matters involved are neither created nor destroyed they only undergo physical and chemical changes let us try and prove this with an experiment take sample water in a glass bowl then in a small test tube take some salt and place the tube inside the water ensure the tube opening is closed now Use a weighing machine to measure the weight of the entire content. You weigh the entire glass bowl containing water within, which is the test tube with some salt. Now, note down the measurement you made. Then, open the opening of the test tube to allow the salt to get mixed with the water. You will note that the salt is mixed with water and a chemical change takes place. the salt dissolves in the water now using the same weighing machine measure the entire content again that means measure the weight of the bowl containing the water and salt solution and the test tube now note the weight of the content did you notice now that the weight taken earlier is the same as the weight taken after the chemical change so This example shows that the mass of the matter did not change after the chemical change happened. So, mass is conserved, isn't it? There are basically three important laws related to chemical combinations. First, law of conservation of mass. Second, law of definite proportions. Third, law of multiple proportions. we will start with law of conservation of mass 